Jonathan Schrager for Stretty News TV, and I'm joined by Manchester United right winger Andre Kinchelskis from the years of '91 to '95. Uh, a fantastic player, player I grew up watching. Uh, really, um, really glad that I could secure this interview, Andre. Thanks for the time. Uh, first of all, we'll discuss a little bit about your new book, yeah. Russian Winters. Uh, first question. Russian winters can't be much worse than Mancunian winters, can they? <laughs> yeah, just in the, I don't know, yes. The Russian, yeah, Russian winters. Because it's, I'm from, I'm from Russia, you know, it's just, it's from USSR, you know, it's like this one. Because it's name, winters, uh, it's just nice, nice uh, name for the Russian winters, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. Just, uh, I'm very, very pleased, and this is uh, my short book because it's my first book at Manchester United, especially for Manchester life in the at club. You know, remember these great times at Manchester. The second in Russian, in Russia. And this is your book, you know, so English, just uh, deep, deep stories uh, for the, my life from the start uh, when I'm youngest and the uh, USSR and after you uh, in Russia and, and UK. And Italy, just, just, just more deep stories, uh, uh, like a lot of stories in, uh, in my life, about my life in uh, England, UK. And the timing of the book, obviously we know that the World Cup's coming to Russia uh, next summer. Uh, what was the main motivation for, for putting it out now? Was it the timing? You just felt it was the right time to put something out? It's not, that's not, not uh, for the special for the World Cup, you know, it's just, it's, uh, uh, just uh, it's no, no, not not uh, not problems uh, because it's uh, of course World Cup is just very important for the, uh, for me as well for the for the Russia as well because it's uh, big big you know big big uh, World Cup and uh, this is a cup and motivation big motivation for everybody you know everybody wait for the World Cup in Russia just uh, because it's nice you know it's just too many good teams come to russia too many good players come to the, everybody see uh, everybody waits for the world cup you know just uh, this is my book it's um, not real special to the world cup you know just take for the, this time yeah <laughs> yeah it's no problem it's absolutely but well i suppose with regard to the world cup just because it is coming up do you feel proud obviously as a russian that that Russia will be we're hosting the World Cup. Yeah, I'm very, very proud. I'm very, very pleased. I wait again. Uh, I say it again. I wait. I'm looking to forward uh, some watch this uh, World Cup in Russia. It's very, very, very pleased. Very well. Welcome to the Russia because it's so, so nice. Uh, we we need some. Now it's a lot of criticized for the Russia. It just uh, sanction, sanction, you know, just uh, doping control, you know, like this. Too much speaking, you know, yeah. but 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 things for the Russia. And this is not true because it's, uh, we have we need, we need some show. We show it's uh, with World Cup. What because this organization is very very good. It's new stadiums, a lot of new stadiums, not a lot of new new hotels and uh, it's airports. You know this and this is nice. This is good for the for the for the us for the Russia. It's everybody wait because it's very uh, important. Of course, important for the football. Especially for the Russian football, for the kids, you know, it's just, uh, it's a lot of kids um, after the <coughs> broken you and the USSR broke. It's just some some problems in the football, economical. Now it's uh, it's, it's much better. Now we start it's, it's improving every year. You know, it's just some uh, people more more uh, life much better. And before when 19s, you know, just some some problems. You know, now it is okay. Everything alright. Everybody, this is good for the, for the everybody, you know, for the country, for the, uh, for the, for the kids, for the people, every. This, this is nice because I'm very, very, very pleased and wait for this uh, World Cup, you know, in Russia. And the BBC put out a documentary quite recently, maybe even last year, and um, I think the Russian Federation were quite annoyed and also critical because really it focused on. The negative side of football, the the hooliganism, and and they were saying, I mean, I've seen a documentary since saying that that's such a small fraction 
of football in Russia that they shouldn't have focused solely on that because people obviously it instills fear. What would your message be to fans who want to partake in the World Cup in Russia? That there are safety issues in place and of course, safety because it's uh, I'm tell a lot of uh, I know it's just a lot of questions about uh, security, about organization. I'm tell for you is this um, uh, no hooligans. No, definitely it is no problem. It is no worry. Is coming because organization were excellent. And, and uh, if you see now uh, a Cup Confederation, mm -hmm. it is nobody, nobody, no problems. No, no one, uh, one problem for the fans. No one problem for the racism. You know, hooligans. No, it's, it's no. It's this excellent organization. Just the World Cup. It's no. It's, uh, it's it's no problem. I, I I tell for everybody. You know, yeah. because it's it's we have some safe. No problem, just no racism, no hooligans, and just like in France, you know, it's just, it's, um, I know there's a lot of, so, sometimes, and the uh, people and say it ne uh, negative, you know, negative just for, uh, for the Russia, because it's, I know this, we, we go to England for chance and World Cup, this World Cup, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, why, why some people say it, uh, bad things about Russia, because uh, England lost, you know, uh, Russia win, you know, it's, it's some people say it, it's, uh, it's, I say it, no, no problem, I'm very, very pleased come to the Moscow and uh, Russia for everybody, you know, it's no worry for about your, uh, your life, you know, it's all right, because it's uh, some... 100% I guarantee for uh, security is this organization is, is good, very, very good, no problem. Yeah. I can echo that from my experience at the Luzhniki Stadium in 2008, United yeah. Chelsea. I didn't see any problems, no problems. It was uh, peaceful. Yeah, just uh, you. I, I tell you, just, uh, these problems I understand when uh, last uh, in France when play in the uh, Europe Championship and you know, just and problems for the fans between English and Russian, you know, just um, uh, and Russia is just uh, more more, it's no, it's just no chance like like in France, you know, just some some, <laughs> it's just these people for the some problems in because it's a uh, different you know different uh, different rules in russia you know just uh, for the fans and just no just no no problem for the fans. It's russia it's no, no problem now it's just in any for the fans it is no problem and yourself as well personally i mean you're one of the most recognizable faces in in the history of russian football really i mean you you were you played for one of the biggest clubs in the world during the start of one of their most successful periods or the most successful period. So I imagine you are one of the most recognisable faces and that begs the question, you should be an ambassador surely for this World Cup. What what's the problem there? Uh, no, just uh, you know, it's, it's just no, there's no, no, no problem for me. I'm, 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 I'm ready. Just uh, this uh, thing, so just no questions for me. Questions for the federation football, you know, because yeah. it's uh, I don't know why. No, so, oh, some it's, I know it's just uh, it's strange, you know, just some some uh, some players uh, and the older players who play in the USSR Olympics, uh, Olympics champions, eighteen ninety eighty eight, you know. Just um, uh, just play second in the Europe when when they lost against Holland, you know. So successful players, mm -hmm. all players, it's big names, you know. Russia is just no ambassador. Mm -hmm. It's strange, you know, just because it's uh, this management for the Russian Federation, these problems, you know. Just I don't know why. It's it's no no for questions for me. I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian Federation get on the phone to this man. He's a big face. Um, Okay, so I suppose we'll move on then, yeah. sort of to the to the Manchester United period. Obviously, our viewers here, you know, they they, uh, they idolised you during that that three or four year period. You were such a recognisable face, and you saw, you had such an exciting style of play. First question: You came from Donetsk, uh, six hundred fifty thousand, I believe, in uh, March ninety one. I alluded to it before with the weather. It can't have been a big culture shock because other foreign players coming from warmer climates, you come to Manchester, it can't have been a big culture shock with the weather, could it? No. Nah. No, it's just normal. It's, it's 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 okay. No, no, like in Russia, it's not. It's because it's uh, it's normal weather. I'm uh, 
some some sometimes you know just uh, some people uh, say to me I'm I miss for the rain you know <laughs> <laughs> like in Manchester rain you know no no it's just it's, it's alright it's alright the weather okay it's no problem this no not not important for the life and weather you know it's important for the, my uh, play start play very good you know when I come to the Manchester you know, just things for the for the work for the club you know. Yeah. Uh, just as this is important. <laughs> no, weather is okay. No important. <laughs> Do you remember when you first found out that United and Sir Alex Ferguson were interested in you? Do you remember that that feeling? And you know, what, uh, obviously, we're a bit of a sleeping giant at the time. We were on the cusp of being a mass, you know, of achieving great things. But do you remember that feeling? Yeah, it's, 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 it's feeling. It's a very, very, very good feeling, you know, because it's. Uh, I moved to them. From also is from Donetsk, yeah, is this, and uh, moved to England because it's a different change, everything you change, change life, you know, like in the some uh, new new life, you know, like in the new new life, like in baby, you know, because it's a uh, different mentality, different everything, different, you know, is this uh, languages as well, food, uh, uh, everything different, you know, just I need some. Teacher, new life, you know. Starting teacher, new new life, you know. This is uh, I'm very very pleased, very happy because it's um, when I come to Man United, it is nice nice lads, nice group, and like in a uh, big family, you know. And the players, a uh, lot of players uh, try help me just uh, for the, especially in the it's uh, Brian Robson, Steve Bruce, you know. It's just a lot of uh, times uh, meet with with these guys, you know, just for the families, with the wives, help for the, my wives, you know, just uh, especially in the club, in Manchester, and uh, some she is lean, lean, especially lean, but just, uh, how brilliant she has helped me. It's just my family, and uh, also in the coaches as well because it's an excellent coach and uh, Brian Kidd you know this, this, uh, he's now in the coach in the Man City this, uh, he working together with Sir Alex Ferguson you know he's just an excellent man he's everybody love him because he's nice nice personality nice coach you know and uh, also in, in physio Jimmy Jim McGregor you know just an excellent excellent job he's Good man, you know, just always positive, mm. always uh, uh, good, uh, good physio, you know, just excellent physio, and uh, for the players as well. It's just if you take any name, yeah. any names in the team, every 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 name is big names, you know, big big player, you know. If I'm very very lucky because um, play together with these players, you know, just it's nice nice uh, nice persons, you know, just uh, it's just. Uh, Good, good, good four years for me. Just play at the Man United, you know. Just a good atmosphere in the in the dressing room and uh, uh, good fans, you know. Just nice, 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 uh, nice time and play with Man, Man United. Just, uh. and, and did you? Because obviously you were the first Russian player to play for Manchester United. I be, a distinction, I believe, still remains. I don't believe we've had a first team Russian player since. So you are the only Russian player to play for United. You were the first and only. Was it a big deal in Russia at the time? Do you remember the Russian media thinking, wow, this, you know, uh, one of our players going to one of the biggest clubs in the world? It's, it's a big, big thing. Yeah, just uh, at this moment when, when I'm left from Donetsk to the Manchester, you know, it's just in the USSR broken country, you know, broken country. Yeah. Some, some, some. Uh, too much problems in the in, inside in the country, you know, just, just economical, from some lot of um, problems for the people, just uh, criminals, a lot of criminals, you know, just um, uh, some lot of people know have job, you know, some problems for the money, you know, just you no know, salaries, you know, just like this. It's not too much uh, uh, interest for the football, you know, people. Right. Just uh, government problems, you know, just uh, problems. And every every now, if you see before one country, you also saw a big country, you know, just now 15 republic, yeah. different different 15 republics, Ukraine, Belarus, Georgia, you know, just like this one. Yeah. And uh, before is uh, more more have some system good system you also saw idea and traditional and uh, one day is broke there's some problems you know 
Now, of course, is, um, we start improving. Now, there's more interest for the for sports, for, yeah. for the ice hockey, football, especially football and ice hockey because it's a big, big, big country for the ice hockey in Russia. And uh, for the, any any sports, you know, it's now improving. Now, starting improving because more concentration, more just people. And before, it's just when I'm left, it's not not too much. Yes, yeah, so some some uh, some. Some uh, sometimes and uh, some people say it in the, in, the, in the press and television. You know, just when I moved to the Manchester United because it's uh, a lot of people say it. It is uh, maybe always oh, uh, his move to the Manchester United. He's sitting always uh, people. A lot of people say it. Uh, for me, there's uh, just no chance to play for uh, Man United. Sit in the bench, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. And when I, when I play, starting play for, for the first eleven, okay, just some some lot of people say it. Just more speak about me and a lot of uh, fans as well. Just uh, look in Russia, especially Russia, looking for uh, for me when I play for Man United. I yeah. say it all. If I'm seeing the play enough for Russian uh, player Man United, I'm I'm st st now st still big fan for United, you know, because because I'm play. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people looking. Oh, it's just okay. It's big fan. Now it's just uh, in in Russia. It's the uh, biggest club uh, fan clubs, you know, in Russia. Biggest number one, and uh, second Real Madrid and sort of things. So well, it's Chelsea like this one. It's Manchester United. Everybody love in Russia. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> now more 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 information now in the, for the football, you know, yeah. especially English football. And, and when you arrived, it was a very um, a real period of transition for United. Like I sort of mentioned before, we were really on the verge of becoming very successful. Um, you arrived the year on well, March ninety one. The following year, we 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 got picked to the line by Leeds. Um, yeah in what proved a frustrating season. Was that, you, do you remember when you arrived, did it feel like there was a pressure on the club to end that, that league drought? Because it had been 20, coming up to 26 years. Did, no, was it a pressure? It's just, uh, I remember, yeah, because it's um, some, uh, my first game in this Crystal Palace. Yeah. Yeah, it's the end of the season, you know, just because it's, uh, since the last game, it's just a play. Uh, a lot of players and um, Preparation to the Cup Winners Cup mm -hmm. in Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. A lot of players, no play, we play for the some reserves team play and I'm playing. This, this, we play at Crystal Palace, which is unbelievable. This, this is my first game, and then it's just there. Uh, uh, this is different football, you know, different everything, you know, the grounds, different um, uh, fans, you know. Just, I'm never, I never see any ball, it's just like this one. Oh, <laughs> take for me ball, please. Yeah, yeah we lost 3-0, you know. Yeah. And, oh, no, this is very, just very, very, you know, it's strange for me because it's, it's just different, everything different, you know. I understand it's just uh, every, everybody and um, before in the say it in the English football, just uh, long ball, long ball, every time long ball, it's just in the first game is unbelievable. Man. <laughs> this is, this is so, so I don't I recognize this game. Anyway, just I know feel is so, of course and feel is is good because I play for the uh, big big club, you know, and uh, everybody know this club, you know, just uh, especially for the history. If you look history, in this uh, this club play and there's a lot of good players: George Best, Dennis Lowe, uh, Bobby Charlton, you know, just. Uh, uh, this is ex excellent players, you know. This Man, Man United, I know, recognize everybody because it's, it's win 68 cup, you know. It's a problem for the crash uh, in the Munich, Munich, you know. It's just uh, uh, this uh, is coming, and especially when we first season very very sad because we lost some champions in the Leeds. I don't remember just drop points. Uh, Against Luton away, against Liverpool away, just uh, some uh, Leeds win or just uh, anyway, just I'm I'm remember because it's when finish season dressing room. I say uh, Ferguson come to the dressing room, say thank you very much for everybody. This is good season, thank you lots, and uh, uh, he said next season we definitely win champions. Right. Next season win. 
<laughs> yeah. Win champions with that title, you know, it just uh, also in the League Cup, you know, just uh, uh, 26 years no win, okay, just a big, big, massive, uh, massive uh, day for uh, everybody, for me, for fans, for, for families, you know, just it's excellent. So that was part of his end of season speech in the dressing room. Thank you, next year we'll win. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he really believed it. Did you as players believe? Having got so close, yeah, just, did you believe? Yeah, you just no. Yeah, I know because we, we have some great team, you know, great players. Mm. Also, in the next season, we uh, Cantona come to and the Manchester, you know, it is uh, Roy Keane, you know, it is excellent, more, more, more fresh players, you no, know, and the, we play in second season is no problem, just I mean, because it's we have some great, great atmosphere. And uh, very important when in the atmosphere, in good, good atmosphere, good lot, you know, just uh, uh, some, uh, just have some great, great teams who is play, who is no play, you know, sometimes in a, who, is, who is no play, he sit in the bench always and blah, 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 blah. But saying, you know, this coach, no good like this one. No, no, he is, uh, when Manchester United, when playing, no, nothing, nobody said like this one, you know, just everybody. Everybody take for the keep, uh, come on, help for the, uh, everybody help for the chance, uh, just uh, help for every, for the, every place who is no play, you know, like in Brian Robson, he is come, he, he drop on a team, he is always in dressing room, he is always come on, come on guys, come on, keep, keep on, you just, uh, you play for the Man, Man United, big, big, big club, you know, big, this is massive, this is why, uh, good character, Man United, because it's, um, Good atmosphere, good group, great, great lads, you know, great players, especially just for them. Uh, everybody know, recognize, everybody knows this. You play for the Man United, you need some big heart, you know, because it's a big club, you know. This is why in Man United, top now, because it's a big heart for everybody, you know, just big club. Yeah, and and. I wanted to ask as well, before I ask you a couple of questions about the period at United, uh, about the, the games and what have you. Um, obviously, it was, a, it was a time in football where drinking was more accepted. You know, people in the 80s especially, there was a big drinking culture, especially at Manchester United. Um, I imagine some of the players that remained, like the Robsons, and they had a reputation, they could have a drink. I always wanted to ask you... When when they were celebrating trophies with a beer or champagne, the big stereotype we have here in England is uh, Russian people drink vodka. W were you on the the vodka orange in the celebration? No, 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 no. no. I'm not, not drinking the vodka because it's uh, you know it's um, uh, in England. You no, know, no good vodka. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just if you, if you want good real good vodka, you need must go to Russia. You know, mm. this is different, different. You know, just because too many vodkas here, any Polish, uh, this is no, no, it's no great. You know, some no quality. I'm, I'm never drink here vodka. Just, uh, <laughs> just in Ru only Russia. Just here, it's just nice beer. You know, beer nice and and um, I'm we, when we celebrate it, of course we drink in champagne. You know, normal champagne and go beer. You know. Yeah. So you never brought you never brought back from Russia sometimes some nice vodka to celebrate these moments. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just it's uh, just it's, I'm 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 never why some buy some vodka and bring for England. Why? No, no, no. Just <laughs> just uh, just wine or beer or champagne. You know this. And vodka too too strong. You know these drinks. You need some vodka drink and the. Uh, when season it is uh, very 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 bad, you know, because it's uh, very strong. Need some and, and so much time. It's okay. When so much time, when you holiday or I no problem sometimes. And with company, good company drinks vodka. I like in the <coughs> like in whiskey as well. He's strong, you know. If you and uh, I'm a I'm a just an, I, I come to England to prefer for the drink uh, beer, you know, because English beer is 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 good, you know. I'm never drinking in, in Russia beer because it's it's not great, you know. Okay. No, so, some some pubs, you know, like an Irish pubs in Russia, a lot of Irish pubs and Czech Czech Republic pubs, you know. This is sometimes in Germany and uh, Russian Russian beer is not great. Do you remember? Do you remember what your brand of beer was here? I believe because it was the was it the Carling Premiership for a long time. Yeah, you liked a Carling? No, 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 no. It's not, it's, I, 
No, it's, I'm drinking any beer in any pubs. Yeah. yeah. Which, do you remember the name? <laughs> Maybe a Foster's or Carlsberg? Yeah, Foster's, yeah, it's uh, Carlsberg, Foster's, it's just draft, draft beer because it's, you know, it's, if you come to the pub, always draft any beer because it's nice. And there's some Heineken, you know, just in as well. Yeah. It's a nice, nice beer, you know, English beer. Uh, just, uh, yeah. What is names? I just don't know, not remember because it's too too many good beers, you know. <laughs> That's a good sign. If you forgot the names, that means you had a good time. Um, and if you a question about Russian vodka, if there's um, any people watching that will be going to Russia this summer, is there a brand of vodka that is the the for you is the that they should try uh, if they're there? In, in Russia, in Russia, is uh, of course it's you need some buy. Uh, Quality vodka, just a lot of quality vodka in Russia. You know, just ask uh, nobody. To the, uh, sometimes no, nobody to, to vodka in small shoppings. Mm -hmm. Never buy because sometimes dangerous. You know, okay. it's better you go to big supermarket like in the Mark, Mark Spencer or like in Tesco. You know, like in the uh, White Rose. You know, the biggest, biggest market. Mm -hmm. This is better, better for uh, any any Russian vodka is good. At small shopping, it's, it's better no buy, better dangerous. Okay. Yep. Um, and then during your time at United, you know, back in those days, football seemed more simple. Four four two. Nowadays, three five two, three four, whatever. You know, all different numbers. Yeah. When you went to Old Trafford during the eighties and nineties, you knew it was going to be four four two. And you, during your few year period, you generally were playing in front of Paul Parker. Yeah. It was a relationship you built. Um, can you tell us about that relationship? Was it something you enjoyed knowing you had that partnership on the right hand side? Yeah, but I'm come to come to Man United play for four two. I'm before they play in Russia as well for the uh, Dynamo Kiev. You know, Labanovsky, yeah. a great great coach and a big name. You know, he's, uh, he's play same system as Man United and they play four four two for the wingers. He liken for the wingers, like in uh, Ferguson, like in the wingers. You know, it's myself and uh, Ryan Giggs, Lee Sharp. You know, it's. Uh, it's maybe so maybe more easy for me come to the Man United play for for two. It's the same same system, you know. It's just, yeah. just crosses good good services for the forward for the attacking player, you know. It's, it's, uh, and uh, not 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 too, not too much different, you know. When I play Dynamo Kiev, say same system and Man United play more attacking, more passion, you know. Just uh, good midfielders to to good midfielders in the in the middle to good defensive and great goal, best goalkeeper in the world. Uh, Schmeichel, you know, just say uh, yeah. say it's for, for we play. It's uh, I'm very very enjoyed. I remember these games. Every 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 team uh, scary, you know, because before the game just panic, you know, just uh, come to Old Trafford. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, you know, the big fans, the big stadium, nice people, you know, and uh, we play excellent football, you know, it's, it's some, some teams, uh, we, we kill for it. some teams like in the uh, Man City, like in the Ipswich 9-0, you know, Man City 5-0, you know, just uh, too many great games, you know. Yeah, and, and I suppose that as well what I was driving at with the question was, because um, nowadays there isn't, reckon, I mean, I know they play different systems, but it was so nice when you had those sort of uh, tandems, you know, for example, yourself, Paul Parker in behind. Yeah. Then after you, there was Neville and Beckham on the right. You had Giggs and Irwin. Nowadays, we lack that a little bit. Did did you, uh, was that a relationship that you worked a lot on the training ground as well, yourself and Paul? So he would overlap sometimes. Yes, uh, I know, it's just... Um Paul Parker, great, great, great player, you know, great defender. He played national team for England. It's, it's uh, very, very quick, you know. It's quickly. I just uh, not not too tall. It's just small. No, it's just it's for the play aggressive, you know. It's um, I'm very comfortable play with uh, with him, you know, because he is. Um, I know it's. Uh, I am understanding behind for me, Paul Parker. It's just no problem because yeah. he's a great defender, you know. Just <clears throat> yeah. And, and he helped me because it's um, he worked hard for the defensive and take for the take for me passes uh, with, uh, with for the play for more attacking play play. You know, he's he's uh, helped me a lot of this. Anyway, we have some if you if you have some good uh, good defensive, it's, it's uh, more easy play these tactics um, for for two. You know, just 
now it's no wingers. Any work, not only in Man United, anything, any work, no, no wingers. Only now it's just uh, similar play uh, in Man City, just a just little bit try wingers play, you know, because it's have some wingers. And uh, also uh, by Munich now I start to play for the wingers, you know, just only two similar like in the before when 1993 92 we play in the, for the wingers you know yeah. it's not, it's now it's not no great any 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 team in the world no great for the wingers you know just just not, not like before because before just too many wingers you know i know it's, it's different tactics now the different system play maybe three in the back play and the five midfielder like this one really for four three three like in the three four three you know just too many Things you know, there's so many different system, and uh, before you for for two, uh, maybe uh, ev everybody play uh, this system. Have some every team have some good wingers, you know, yeah. and England, especially England, because it's you know it's, now it's a little bit different, you know, different football. And so obviously, you know, you 93-94, you win the double. Amazing season, like I've mentioned to you off camera before. My certainly my favourite ever United side. You could pick the eleven. I can still reel the names off now. Um, ninety four, ninety five. You're you're voted some at Busby Player of the Year at uh, United, and unfortunately you get injured just before the end of the season. I believe it was a hernia, and United unfortunately sort of lose the title to Blackburn, and then of course the FA Cup final to Everton. Um, you were so influential that season. I mean, I believe you scored you know, 15 goals, 14, but maybe uh, one in another competition. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it was 14 in the league. Yeah, 14 in the league. Yeah. But one in maybe the cup. Uh, I can't remember. No, 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 total 14. Total 14, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, 14 goals. You know, I just remember this time. Very bad injuries, you know, just. Uh, was it so frustrating, though, that you couldn't be because yeah. we got beat by, like, you know, Right at the end of the season, it kind of went wrong. Do you feel like you were on such great form then? You could have helped push us towards... Yeah, we have great form, you know, just... Uh, I know this, this season is uh, uh, bad for me, bad for Eric Cantona, you know, he's suspended, you know, just uh, bad for the... But, but, but for all team, you know, for, because it's lost in, um, at Wembley at Everton, you know, final and lost championship, you know, it's... Um, um, this is bad, bad time. Some sometimes you know this uh, <coughs> what's happening in, in the football. Sometimes, no, no, every time good time. You know, just sometimes uh, bad time. You know, just uh, like I know it's st still great players. You know, some some play in the team. You know, just a little bit uh, unlucky. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And you kind of referenced him there, Eric, and and obviously the big incident, Salers Park. Um, it was well. It was well rumored, anyway, well publicized that Eric was one of the players that Sir Alex gave special, uh, shall we say, leeway and exceptions for. Um, did you, at the time as a player, did you agree with the way Sir Alex handled Eric because he was a, a bit of an enigma, or was was there an annoyance among fellow players that he got this, uh, you know, he got the special treatment? Or did you realize how influential he was, and you understood? Not, not, not so. He is uh, Alex Ferguson. Ha, he helped for the Eric Cantona. He always because uh, uh, Eric is, is, he come from the, from the Leeds. You know, he is um, not not to, of course not his uh, this period not to, to very well speak English as well, yeah. like in me. To it's always in the, he is uh, not too special for the him. You know, because it's, he he try her help for him and for me as well just uh, uh, so too much speaking with uh, with us uh, with uh, with Eric with, for me as well because it's uh, uh, Eric uh, he is uh, this is um, um, uh, different, uh, different, uh, different player you know because he's, he has come from France not too many foreigners players at 
this period come to the in England because it's um, every what I'm saying it is just uh, uh, everybody say to play for the long ball. You know, just, uh, <coughs> Eric, especially uh, Eric, he is more playing for the technical. You know, the French just that good, good vision, clever play. You know, just Eric, uh, Alex Ferguson who help him. And just uh, some some people say he is. Um, um, Love him. He is always special. No, it's not. It's not right. It's, uh, same, same, same player. Same, uh, uh, like in the everybody, you know. Because it's uh, uh, if you if you see when uh, Eric left and uh, uh, this position play Paul Scholes, yeah. because it's uh, Alex <coughs> uh, help him as well because he is an excellent player, and um, it's. Uh, uh, he is uh, helpful for everybody, you know. Uh, so maybe sometimes more, maybe too much for the Eric, you know. Too much speak with him, too much uh, help him, you know. Just, uh, some people say, oh, he is uh, love him, he is uh, always uh, like an Eric, you know. Just now, he a little bit more spoke with him, you know. Yeah. Uh, was I mean, was there any stories that stood out of the kind of, you know, um, when maybe Eric was given a bit more leeway. People used to say, for example, you had to turn up in the suit to go for away games. It meant, you know, the official suit. Eric, maybe turn up in a yellow jumper. And he, he's okay. He, he's okay, Eric. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't remember this kind of thing? No, it's, uh, well, well, I think so. It's remember when he going to press conference in the jeans, you know, yes, in the jeans, okay. And it, in the away games, uh, we, everybody in a in in suit for the Manchester United. So I'm not no remember because it's, uh, he, he always uh, say, same everybody, you know, because it's, it's, it's not possible. And one thing that I always found interesting, it was room. Well, it was um, suggested at the time that Ryan Giggs was. I mean, there was yourself and and Ryan on on both sides, and you were both lightning fast. Uh, I believe Ryan held the the record over one hundred meters. That's what people said at the cliff at the time. Was he faster than you over one hundred meters? Cool, oh, Ryan Giggsy. I, try, no, I don't know. You, you never had a race, you two? No, no race, you know. Just uh, it's uh, no. He is faster. No, no, no. I'm uh, for the le just uh, hundred meters. Just uh, eleven seconds. Eleven seconds here. Yeah. Eleven seconds here. Yeah. I don't know how how, ma how much and the uh, gigsy. Yeah. Uh, if, no, no races because one time when the, you know, it's um, uh, mm -hmm. in England uh, every season some uh, two quickest players come to races for uh, any Wembley, I think so. Yeah. It was a League Cup, wasn't it, back in the day? They used to do the side of the pitch. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, because it's. Um, they never asked you. No, Ferguson. Uh, no, he, he said no, 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 no for you. Okay. <laughs> this is my liking, you know. Just, just he didn't want you. He didn't want you to do it. No, no, no. I, some no say it for some people say it for me go yeah. go to um, come to the race and first you say it, no 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 <laughs> this, is, this is unbelievable you know I just, uh, he maybe not want you to get injured <laughs> you pull a yeah 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 no 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 yes, I remember this one time and uh, after we know race for the players you know just I don't know who is quickest me and Gigzy anyway he is quick quick man you know just uh, just uh, <laughs> and. I was going to say about the European, because United, obviously, we've winning the league. We get back into Europe again. Um, but at the time, there was the three, I believe it was the three foreigner rule, yeah. where you could only play three. And it was a real shame at the time. Yeah, yeah, United yeah. fans felt with that team, we could have really excelled in Europe. Was it a frustration for you as well? Because it probably meant, I remember at the time, you wouldn't have been able yeah, to play every game. It's uh, very bad rules, you know, just for uh, this if no with uh, no rules we definitely win the league uh, champions definitely okay. yeah because it's we, it's play it's barcelona at home is uh, great games you know just and uh, play in the uh for Galta Sarai, you know a so, lot of good games and this is uh, the terrible rules you know just and uh, if, if it's no it's no possible uh for the for hard decision for the ferguson you know it's just hard yeah. decision who is play who is no play you know just uh, some too many reserves players play for the league champions it's just a league champions high level you know yeah. it's, it's 
some two youngest players, you know, this only English youngest player coming to the play. It's a difficult time. Uh, this this is problems why why we uh, play some uh, so no good in Europe, you know. If yeah. if everybody play, we definitely win, definitely this team. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I wanted to ask now about uh, sort of moving towards. Uh, the latter stages, obviously, at United. When you left the club, it was... I mean, the, the the first question I'll ask is this. You left alongside Mark Hughes and Paul Ince, and it was a big... At the time at United, three massive characters in that team, the fans were worried. Um, you, obviously, at the training ground, would have known that the class of 92, you'd have seen the young boys coming through. But United fans were still very worried, especially the first game of the following season, Aston Villa, mm -hmm. Alan Hansom, you don't win anything with kids, you know, it's very famous. United fans thought, well, maybe as, Ferg as Sir Alex done the right thing to sell three big players in the same summer. Did you know from the training ground how good this young group coming through was? Did you know that ultimately they could come in and be successful? Yeah, this is, this is excellent work, excellent work for the uh, young, young players, you know, for the school, Manchester United, this is good, res good results, final results, and because it's too many good players, and by come Neville's, Gary Neville's, uh, and Phil Neville, and just but uh, just uh, scores, of course, scores, yeah, just uh, it's a good, good, good group, very good group, young players, you know, just uh, excellent. It's uh, unbelievable. This, this um, uh, f for the teams come to the young players. A lot of uh, young players come to the first eleven. You know, this it's, uh, sometimes in the, some 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 clubs only only one one young players a season. You know, just two. This is a big group, big group. You know, it's, it's absolutely brilliant results. You know, also it's uh, Ferguson. It's no no scary. You take for the good chance and help for the. Team because it's uh, I don't know it's young players uh, old players like in the it's um, Cantona Roy Keane you know it's just in uh, Steve Bruce you know this and uh, uh, Andy Cole by Andy Cole you know this uh, he goal scorer you know this uh, this this is great results I'm I'm no 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 not to not too many teams like this one take for the put in a team for five young players yeah. it's like unbelievable great results are. Is absolutely brilliant, you know. And um, I mean, when I mean when you left, did you? I suppose there's a couple of questions that come to mind, but I suppose your exit first. We'll talk about your exit. It was a surprise, I think, to United fans. You, you'd had your best season at the club. Yes. You were you were flying, and it was shrouded in a bit of mystery. People didn't understand why is Andre leaving. You know. No one wanted you to leave, really. The fans loved you. Uh, can you explain from your perspective why you left? Why did you leave United on the best form? I am, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just long story, you know. It's, um, I, te I tell for the, my book a true story why I'm left from Man United. I know it's just um, uh, some some uh, some papers, some people uh, tell for the silly stories, you know. It's a terrible story about him, uh, just in the... Play because you know a lot of money lost and gambling, you know, just and um, if, if we pay for the mafia, I need to pay for the mafia. <laughs> it's just unbelievable, you know, and uh, just, just, it's just terrible, you know. It's, I tell for the true, true story, deep story for the way I'm left, you know, it's just uh, this long story we feel speak about now. And uh, if you reading in my book, you know, that, uh, for the fans uh, looking for the true story, what's happened. And because, like you say, silly stories, rumours, you know what it's like with football fans. Now, now it's even worse with the internet because we have forums and we have online media, social media. At the time, there was, you know, rumours that you'd fallen out with Sir Alex earlier the season. Um, people were saying you'd had uh, a, an argument with Paul Lintz in the cup final at half time. Um, even though you won't be play, you weren't playing in the cup final because of your injury. So people I've been, saying, I've been in the stand, you know, in yeah. and people saying there was an argument with Paul Lintz at half time. Different rumours, people because people didn't understand why you left. But obviously, yeah. you you clear everything up in here. Yeah. Yes, in my book, uh, clear. It's just hundred percent clear. It's just not 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 like. Uh, 
just uh, this in my book and true story true story they definitely are not tell no not no rooms no rooms now just clear story it's and can I ask about your relationship then with sir alex you when you left obviously he he did a couple of interviews he was uh, visibly maybe upset that you'd left um he had his version of the story are you on okay terms now? Have you ever spoken to him since? Yeah, we've yeah. spoken was last uh, last year. I um, come to Old Trafford and uh, spoke with him. Uh, he take for tickets for me, for my son. You know, just we speak uh, with uh, meeting with room, just uh, uh, keep in touch. You know, there's no problem when he come to the Moscow, especially in the uh, final. Yeah, I'm going to hotel, take for uh, him uh, a little little bit gift. You know, for, uh, caviar. In black caviar, you know. <laughs> yes, he is. He likes caviar, you know. It's just, um, uh, so still, still, uh, when uh, I saw him, just speaking, no problem, you know. Just, it's, uh, just, uh, I'm very, very pleased because it's uh, just in the past, you know. Just, I'm, a, I maybe, uh, maybe mistake, you know. Just some, okay, if you go to some past, maybe just mistake and. <laughs> Uh, this um, but but uh, but rule, you know, maybe, and move. Anyway, I moved to the new great great club, you know, just uh, Everton because he, good history, you know. Just yeah. uh, if you see Everton, because it's uh, uh, of course no not the biggest um, uh, Man United club, but anyway, it's good uh, good club, good history road, yeah. you know, and uh, and uh, also it's just. Uh, and uh, good, good for me. Move to the Italy. So to change, uh, change uh, life. Change, change everything. Different football style. You know, it's good for me now because I'm now coaching. You know, just uh, looking for a different uh, uh, training session, different uh, style. You know, just also in the, I'm very, very lucky because I'm playing in the in UK to the biggest club. You know, Man United, Everton, and Glasgow Rangers. Yeah. This is, this, is, this, is, this is good, especially for me. I'm uh, every every derby. I'm score goals, you know. Yes, Man City, uh, Liverpool, yeah. and uh, Celtic, you know. I believe the only man to do it as well. Still, still the only man. Um, when you left United, well, first of all, I'm glad you know you say you cleared up. Everything's good with Sir Alex. That's good. Um, before I ask you about when you leave United, when you left United, there was rumours at the time you may go to Liverpool. Obviously, that would have hurt even more United fans. Was that was that ever near? Because you ended up going to obviously their neighbours, Everton. Was there a was there a chance at the time you would have gone to Liverpool? Was that a possibility? Liverpool, Liverpool, uh, Liverpool yeah, Liverpool Football Club. No, uh, not not really. You know, some some people say it when you, so. See, at the at moment for the interest for me, definitely Middlesbrough because Brian Robson, and uh, his coach, you know, and play together. He's an um, excellent uh, man, you know. Just he's very interested for me. Also, Arsenal. Yeah. I know just hundred percent. No, it's Arsenal no chance because you know, Man uh, United never sell for me. <laughs> for uh, Ferguson said no, no Arsenal because Arsenal is big, big uh, massive club as well. This is just Man United Arsenal probably just fighting, you know. <laughs> and uh, at Liverpool, I don't know, I don't know. This is some, some, some ju- ju- yeah, maybe yeah. Just on sp- speaking though, know. and Everton as well because it's Everton. Uh, of course, it's. I think so. If we, there's no chance for the Liverpool because Man United Liverpool is fighting, you know, this is yeah. this is completely no chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, you go to to Everton. One question I wanted to ask you about your time at Everton. Obviously, uh, Big Duncan Ferguson was a player you played with, and he was, uh, you know, he was known to be a big character. And obviously, you play with Cantona at Manchester United. Out of the two, um, who was the the biggest character? <laughs> just great. Uh, so, uh, Luca Ferguson is great, you know, player. You know, just he's good head of play. Yeah. He's he's some strong, you know, like in Eric as well because it's uh, uh, too many goals. Uh, 
Every everybody, you know, here Eric and here Man, Man United and uh, Duncan and, uh, at Everton heroes, you know, because it's love, fun, love him. He is uh, uh, just um, he's like in the killer, killer defensive, you know, <laughs> like in the like in Mark Hughes and Man United, he's uh, unbelievable. He's everybody defensive thinks so scary, Mark Hughes, you know, and uh, different different players, uh, different uh, football players, you know, it's Duncan and uh, um, Cantona because Duncan he is uh, typical in the British. Football. He's Eric Cantona. is from France. In more, more different style, different play, different different position as well in, in the ground. You know, just uh, similar, similar good character. You know, so strong character. You know, just uh, like uh, uh, I'm liking. I'm very, very glad. I'm liking play with, uh, this at, at Cantona as well and uh, Duncan Ferguson. Absolutely, and just a couple more now. Really appreciate the time. Um, I suppose I wanted to end on on Manchester United, kind of in the here and now. Um, obviously, we're with with Jose Mourinho. Firstly, just your general impressions of United now under Mourinho. Do you think he is the right man to bring us back to where we are? People complain sometimes about the style. Uh, you played in a very attacking team. H how do you perceive this Manchester United? Yeah, just uh, I know just. Um I think so. This season very important for the Mourinho, and the uh, last season win uh, two cups, you know, win league uh, Europe and uh, league cup, you know, just uh, it's not bad results. Just uh, first season, I know Mourinho came in is difficult first season. Second season very important for everybody, for the players, for the coaches, and. Uh, See what happened end of the season because uh, sometimes I'm watching a game and some some games just play very well, you know, like in the, against Newcastle. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a very very place uh, this, this, this game, just good results and play more attacking. Some guys play more defensive. More. Mourinho is just tactics and the, he more play in defensive. You know, it's not too many scores. He no like and they, no to no like no no wingers as well because he play inside you know players. Yeah. Uh, I know it's just uh, every every fans uh, recognize when uh, Ferguson coach we play for 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 the wingers you know just for uh, and uh, if this season good results for Mourinho because fans fans happy yeah. you know just because it's very important for the need some. Uh, for the win titles again, win uh, some again start dominated in the British football, you know, with this, uh, and uh, because it's new the club in Man, in Man City, just play very well, you know, just um, see we we looking forward in 10 December, you know, big derby, yeah. derby needs yeah. Man United need win because it's uh, eight points too much, you know. I'm so yesterday uh, yesterday for the Man City just uh, Huddersfield. <laughs> It's a way. It's, it's a little bit uh, who does feel unlucky, you know. Just uh, Man City lucky. Anyway, just uh, need some win. Definitely win two times against Man City. Beat yeah. Man City two times. If, if beaten, it's okay. Good chance to win titles. If lost, I think so. Finish, yeah. finish season, you know. Anyway, just uh, have some two, two good and uh, champion, champions thing, uh, Champions League, and. Uh, uh, champion, uh, Premier League, you know, need some some one trophy, need win or league champions or yeah. uh, win title. End of the season, we uh, I'm I've said for you, uh, it's good choice or no good choice for most of good coach Mourinho. And you, you personally though, I mean, you played in such an exciting team. Nowadays, it's maybe not as realistic. To expect that kind of football, not many teams set up more strategically now. Um, do you think that era of expansive four-four-two and is that a thing of the past? I'm not a lot of teams go with that. Yeah, you know, a lot of teams. I know. It's just uh, what I'm saying because some no, no, not too many wingers in the world. You know, it's not especially no Man United. Uh, Man United, yes, That's, I think so. Uh, for me, it's just. Um, for me, this this system is uh, this is good. 
Yeah. Because uh, if you if you have some uh, Man United have some great goalkeeper, yeah, of course, I need some two defensive. If you have some two great defensive like in uh, Palestine and Bruce, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and uh, excellent midfielders in the, in the middle, in the, uh, Roy Keane, Paul Inns. It's unbelievable. You know, um, hope some it also in striker, Mark Hewson, in, in Cantona. It's, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, just it's uh, like in the, you know, it's uh, in the, like in a straight line, like in a fish, you know, in a fish. Yeah, it's yeah. just a goalkeeper, defensive, midfielder, attacking player. And then after, go to some, okay, this is myself and right, and the, Give yeah. the left and sharp. This is like in fish. If you have this team, like these players, must definitely play 4 4 2. Yeah. Definitely, because it's uh, sometimes uh, I'm, I'm liking 4 4 2 because I'm, I'm coaching and I'm saying always 4 4 2 play system. Yeah. This is always the way you play now yeah. as manager and coach? Yes, yes. Depends. Uh, I'm trying to play. If, the right if, 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 you, if, you, if depends what the players, what style of players, and the, I play definitely 4 4 2 because it's more. I, I'm, I'm like this system. Yeah. Because it's, if you have some good quality players, stronger players, like in, um, because it's, if you see in a Peter, big, big name, big, big goalkeeper, you know, just, uh, just uh, Brucey, his uh, tackle, it's just uh, passion, he's, uh, he's uh, like in the, he broke his nose, you know, five, six <laughs> times, you know, he's, uh, you know, no, no, he, if you look now defensive, it's just unbelievable, it's just, just, uh, it, it, it's an attacking player, take for the, like, uh, Shooting everybody defensive like this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, Still Bruce like this one. Come on, <laughs> it's just it's excellent, you know, and um, so, so brilliant, you know. And uh, Paul Ince and Roy Keane is just uh, yeah. So any mid midfielder, no, no, it's just this midfielder area, just nobody, <coughs> no. no, because every every yeah. every every uh, tackle win every. Yeah. Every tackle for the NC Roy Keane, you know, just fucking so strong, you know, just unbelievable. And uh, Mark Hughes, as well, he's keeping the ball, he's stronger, you know, just yeah, uh, some uh, kill, kill, killer and uh, kill for the defensive, you know. The, every defensive is scary for Mark Hughes, you know. <laughs> he's absolutely yeah. massive, he's good. And if you have some this these um, um, this players like this one, okay, definitely play 4-4-2, four, four, yeah, definitely, just uh, for the windows. Also, and uh, now it's just I don't understand more different. Sometimes I'm, I'm very, very happy looking for my Man United one player. Sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit boring, you know. Just um, more, now it's more, more. Um, I understand now because it's uh, everybody wait for the result. Results, the results yeah. is good because it's um, fans hungry, you know, hungry, hungry as well because no, no titles. And uh, uh, lost, lost, lose position mm -hmm. because it's uh, before when Ferguson was working, you know, it's just uh, always dominated on you know, the first, first, second, first, second, you know, like this one. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, now a little bit, uh, some coach a little bit scary because need some results, you know, yeah. scary for more pressure for the fans and the television, you know, the papers, you know, the pressure for the teams, for the players, for the coach as well. Also, what I'm saying for the see what happened on the end of the, end of the season because it's uh, it's just uh, for the see what happened. How is Mourinho working? Is this good or no good? Because you need some time, time some see, especially for the also winter times, you know, and uh, this period and uh, Christmas, New Year, and uh, in, in uh, too many games coming I FA Cup. Yeah. League champions, uh, Premier League, League Cup, and uh, national teams. There's a lot of players, especially Man United, a lot of players playing for national teams as well. Yeah. In this period, if no draw points in December, January, I think so, half February, if no draw points, beating Man City is a good chance to win title. Yeah, I hope so. It's a positive, <laughs> positive. <laughs> A positive thought. Um, when you name those players before in, in that team you played in, uh, I dream of that team was the best for me, the best. Um, when you talk about four four two, I hope United come to you for a manager in the future. You play four four two, I'll be happy. Um, I wanted to ask uh, finally, if we if we sat here 
in uh, three years' time. Mm -hmm. I ask you, uh, will Mourinho still be manager of Manchester United? That's a hard one. Uh, in three years' time, if you and I were sitting here, yeah. do you think Jose Mourinho is still manager of Manchester United? And do you think Manchester United have won the league in the next two or three years? Oh. Difficult, yeah. It's just difficult, difficult because it's at moment, at moment it's uh, one city. You now it's a little bit, it's, it's it's big change. You know when I'm playing for against one city. Uh, now it's one city demonstration, good football at the top in league. You know and uh, difficult, difficult say this. And anyway, need some. I'm saying it again, need win against one city double. Two yeah. times, two times, a win, beaten because it's uh, uh, eight points too much now at the moment. Too much. Yeah. And, uh, and so. For the Mourinho, I don't know. Just, I don't know. It's, this is. No. I, no. It's difficult. This is hard, yeah. you know. It's difficult, you know. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, still, I'm just. Uh, uh, I understand. I'm still in the supporters in Man United, still in the, in the, and my heart in Man United. You know, just some, some <coughs> especially people, and even play in the, in, the, in the Man United play against Russian teams. You know, it's always journalists ask me who is who's supporters, who is support support. Okay. I'm saying, of course, Man United. Yeah. Some people angry. Oh, you know, no patriotic. You know, no patriotic. And fucking <laughs> stupid. You know, because I'm playing Man United. I never play, never play in CSKA Moscow. Never play in the Rostov. You know, is some uh, some some stupid journalist. You know, it's just some difficult. Uh, don't understand. You know, it's only um, just uh, think. Uh, oh, I'm patriotic. I'm for the, for the Russians. Uh, Teams now. I'm I'm supporter for the Russian team when I play. Yeah. I'm I'm supporters for the team abroad uh, in Glasgow Rangers, Everton, and Man United. And this uh, Fiorentina as well. I'm not a supporter for Milan and uh, Juventus and uh, Liverpool. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just some 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 silly stupid questions. You know, for supporters. It's, anyway, it's it's good because it's um, supporters. We I wait now. Looking forward, waiting, looking for a derby. You know, maybe I'm going to some any any pub yeah. in Moscow, in the fans with yeah. fans. You know, it's all, always in the fans call me, take for the please come to the watching the game together. Oh, some yeah. some things. Like yeah, uh, yeah, support, yeah, support, yeah, support the club. Oh, a lot of, lot of, lot of it's good atmosphere, like in in stadium songs. You know, just come on, you guys, come on, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> like this and. And uh, oh, so, <coughs> so nice, so nice, yeah, just, just I, some love and a lot of uh, Russian. I bet you don't have to buy many drinks when you're at the pub with the supporters club. I don't think you buy a drink. No, just, uh, it's okay, just not, 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 especially for the good atmosphere, you know, just because it's um, watching football, like, and the, uh, when the, everybody, concentration, everybody, every moment, ah, oh, come on, come on. Just it's nice, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this uh, watching a bit together with fans, you know, just football. And we had during Sir Alex's reign, we had some amazing right-sided midfielders, right wingers. You call, you know, yourself. Then there was a very different in David Beckham. He was more maybe technical, crossing. You were exciting, <laughs> direct. Cristiano Ronaldo comes after Beckham. Who makes the Sir Alex all-time United eleven? Because that's that's a hard choice. Yourself, Beckham, Ronaldo. That fans always maybe discussing this. Who plays there? Difficult. Eh? No, difficult because it's um, no. It's just, uh, for me. I think so. The David Beckham, you know, for me. That's uh, because he he I don't know it's, uh, he play long period he is um, play national teams he's um, good uh, good passing good uh, vision great balls you know it's, it's, it's uh, I think so it's for the David for number one yeah, yeah. I'm substitution. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, the, we, were you in Moscow then? Uh, for 2008, you said, of course, you were there. Were you at the game? And you were at the game? Yeah. 
Of course, I'm being because it's uh, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson take for, for tickets for me in the, in the game. So, so Sir Alex sorted, and you went to the after party. Did you go to the party in the hotel? Yeah, no, no, no. I wait uh, because uh, is uh, this team come to the late? I think so. Two o'clock or so, three o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to back to home because in, uh, next day I'm I'm flying or just a training session for the team, my team. You know, right. I'm no no party no party no with party. team. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, just tea, drink tea. You know, yeah. I've been in the stadium. I you know, remember this is uh, when Man United winning for the penalties. You know, it's great, great for. Anyway, just uh, Kitman, he's a ni nice guy in Man United. He before the game, told me, yeah, it's no problem. We 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 won, we beat him, the yeah. Chelsea. I was, when Ronaldo missed penalty, a little bit dangerous, you know, scary. <laughs> and after it's okay, it's good results. Yeah. It's win titles, win the league champions. It's, it's unbelievable. It's good, great, great, great. It's uh, I remember because it's too many too. When I come to the hotel, and there's some players who is I play together, with Gary Neville and the you know, Scholes and Giggsy, and this nice, nice, nice lads, you know. Remember, like a nice, but so Ferguson, you know, just and uh, great. And, and literally, just just last one. Um, what was I going to say then? United, you know, in the summer it was Ivan Perisic, was a player that um, Mourinho wanted to bring in and you talk about not many wingers nowadays Perisic kind of is a more traditional winger and we wanted him on the left is is that a kind of play you would like to see at Old Trafford bring back a little bit of the the past you know traditional wingers and is there a right hand sided player in world football who you think would be suitable for United yeah well very 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 glad to see if Man United <laughs> Start now play for the 4-4-2 four, four, and wingers, you know. I, I, I say it again, <clears throat> not too many good wingers now at the moment. Any, any world, every team, you know. Uh, maybe, 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 yeah, maybe why Jose playing for the more inside, you know, players because it's uh, it's not no possible for uh, Mkhitaryan playing uh, wingers, you know. It's not possible because he's uh, or inside or in the middle play, you know, it's, uh, because it's need some, of course. Uh, is there any you can think yeah, of like yeah. a right-sided player that you look at and think he excites me yeah. a right winger yeah. is there anyone you think of it's not, it's not, it's not too much in a, not too many not um, no no really no really no Perisic on the left do you think he's nice Perisic, yeah maybe he's he's okay maybe try of course, we 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 now we're talking about this system. and Mourinho play a different system. Yeah. You know, he never play. He never play in Chelsea wingers. He never play in uh, at internal play when he coach internal play to, for the wingers. And uh, it's, uh, because it's completely different system play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And finally, on on the book, is there a story? because obviously it's been out now uh, a, a small while, have people come up to you? Is there one story that people in the book say, tell me more about this, or I like this story? Is there one that people come up to you and say, oh, I like that story? Oh, who is reading the book, yeah? Yeah, yeah just uh, so, so, some people say it. Uh, uh, when I come to the... Uh, in the in England, just uh, for my book, some people ask me, oh, Andre, this is a nice book, very, very good, yeah, good stories, you know, I'm saying, okay, okay, thank you, thank you very much, I'm very, very pleased, because it's <clears throat> I'm telling for the, my deep life, you know, the, for the, my excellent time for the, with Man Manchester, and for the Everton, Glasgow Rangers as well, and so, uh, yeah, it's just people say, yes, good stories. Is there one story in particular people say, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe that happened, I can't believe he did no, that? No, yeah, just, just pick uh, not a special story. Uh, he, some some people say it is a good book, you know, good uh, good stories, not to one yeah. good particular. Yeah. Just lot of lot of I take for a lot of good uh, things, uh, good stories. They very, very, some bad stories, you know, just uh, 
just as, it's just in life, you know. Yeah. And we'll end on this. The you became a bit of an icon at Manchester United. You know, obviously the the circumstances surrounding your departure was very, very quick, and fans were upset because we grew to love you. Um, you remember that we used to sing the song about you? You remember your song? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember. I remember, of course, it was Andre, Andre <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's nice, yeah, with people. I'm, I'm remember, yeah. Whenever you're in Manchester now, or even around people, has a, a fan ever come up to you in Manchester still singing your song, or? Yeah, just uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we go to some. A lot of time, a um, um, uh, uh, lot of fans as well, when I see for me, they recognize this, oh, this is a good song, Andre, Andre Kanchevsky, <laughs> so, like this one, <laughs> yeah, it's nice, nice, I'm, this is good, uh, I'm, I'm so, so very, very pleased, and uh, uh, back to, you know, it's back to UK, you know, especially, you go to some in Manchester and uh, Liverpool, and uh, see my friends, uh, see, this is a, uh, uh, last time, I'm, I'm last, I think so, it's this last, uh, last, last, last week, I'm, I may go to, I've been in my, my Manchester TV, just looking for the Old Trafford, what's work, you know, this recognize, remember, this nice, now a big change, you know, when I come to the Old Trafford, 40,000, you know, yeah. now yeah. it's just so massive, so big, you know, this, it's nice, it's a uh, nice ground, you know. And when I come into the Old Trafford, not not a great ground. <laughs> no, a lot of work around then as well. Yeah, it's now it's so sort of like billiard, you know. Just oh, unbelievable! Just so 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 nice. I remember, this great 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 time. Andre, I can't thank you enough for the time. Um, we're actually going to give away a signed book. This is uh, I'm yet to read it myself, but I am very excited to read about Andre's time at United. So obviously. Um, Russian Winters by the man to my right here, Mr. Kinchelskis. Um, Andre, it's been an absolute pleasure. And again, I can't thank you enough for the time. You're in my favourite Ever United team and it's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.